Hello and happy Halloween, everyone. I have a special tournament tonight. This is going to be the NDW Monster Mash Tournament. The winner of the tournament will receive the Monster Cup. So let's look at our first round matches. It's going to be Romero against Murky Water. Bedbug against Pete Cottontail. Vladimir Plasma against Adam Prometheus. And our opening bout of the tournament is going to be Buck Blake and Lycan Moon. So let's get this show on the road and see who's going to be our first annual uh, Monster Cup winner. Okay, so Lycan Moon is going to start us off. Two, lick opponent's face one. Two, hurt two. Two, uh, vicious claw swipe two. Six, Buck Blake one. Um, six, venison vertical suplex three, power. So he's a plus three, Lycan Moon's a minus two. So Lycan Moon reverses that. He's on level two offense here. Four, into the turnbuckle. Okay, so he's going to think better of that. Since Buck Blake's an A, so Lycan Moon's going to go down to level one offense here and roll again. Three, double leg sweep, two agility. Uh, Buck's a minus two, Lycan's a plus one, so Buck Blake reverses and he's on level two offense here. Six, uh, Dust Cloud, three, add one, so we're going to add one here. We're going to roll his disqualification of four, which he doesn't get DQ'd, and Lycan Moon on level three defense here. Six, hurt two. Five, bow and arrow submission three. Three, hurt two. Four, salt lick slam two, choice F. We'll see here. He's going to go for the weaker agility version of this. So that's going to be a level two move. And that is going to work on an eight or less. And he hits it. So Lycan Moon's going to roll on level two defense. Two, Lycan Moon two. Nice reversal there. Five, Werewolf's Bite 3. Five, down 3, and Buck Blake's going to bail to the outside here. So five on out of the ring A. So they start brawling on the outside. We're going to see if both men get DQ'd here. Buck Blake is DQ'd, and Lycan Moon is not. So your winner of the first match is Lycan Moon via DQ. So a brawl on the outside, which sees Buck Blake get DQ'd, and Lycan Moon is in the semifinal. Okay, so we're going to go to our next bout of the tournament. It's going to be Vladimir Plasma and Adam Prometheus. Reset our fatigue there. And Vladimir Plasma is going to start. Uh, five. Holy Water Splash 2 Agility. He's a minus one. Adam Prometheus is a plus four, so the move works. One hurt two. Four double leg takedown two choice B. Uh, let's see if this says opponent must have minus two power or better to do these moves. Oh, okay, so um so Vladimir can do those moves. Now what do I want to do here? So choice B. So I'm gonna have him do the stand well ugh. I'm going to have him do the turnbuckle because of Adam Prometheus's um, defense. Okay, you're smashed by a big kick by the opponent. Vladimir Plasma is going to roll on level two. Offense here, five. Wings of the bat, three. Three hurt two. Three into the ropes. Well, he can do it because he's got a minus two power. So four on ropes B. Opponent gets into position for a back body drop but you grab him and hit him with an awesome pile driver roll on level three offense so adam prometheus on level three offense two out of the ring okay so out of the ring b so four so they start brawling on the outside like last time we're gonna see if either man gets dq'd vladimir plasma is fine and adam prometheus is dq'd so your winner of the match via DQ is Vladimir Plasma. 
So it's been a DQ heavy tournament so far, but uh, we'll see how it progresses because there's still Romero and Romero loves to get DQ'd. Okay, so up next we have Bedbug against uh, Pete Cottontail. Oh, I didn't let them. Okay. So that is our next bout of the tournament. Okay, so Bedbug's going to start us off here. And that's a six. So Parasite Squeeze 2, choice A. He's going to send um, Pete into the ropes. So 10 on ropes B. So they hit a double clothesline spot, and Bedbug recovers first because he has a better ropes rating. And Bedbug is on level 3 offense here. Uh, one, Turnbuckle Splash 3, choice G. So Bedbug against all advice is going to the top rope here. And he rolls an 8 on Death Jump A. The opponent blasts you with a flying clothesline. You're in trouble. Bedbug is on level 3 offense here. 4, Sleep Tight 3. 3, Hurt 2. 4, Into the Turnbuckle. So he's going to send Pete into the Turnbuckle. And Pete reverses and Bedbug gets sent into the Turnbuckle here. So 3 on Turnbuckle B. Opponent charges at you with a running shoulder dive, but you move and he goes crashing outside the ring. So Pete's going to roll on out of the ring here. And Pete just pummels Bedbug as he gets out of the ring, tosses him back in, and Pete Cottontail is on level 3 offense here. Two death jumps. So Pete going to the top rope here. Four on death jump B. Opponent climbs to the top, but you recover and throw him off the turnbuckle. And into the ring, he goes down hard. Bedbug on level 3 offense here. 4, sleep tight 3. 4, pin. Pete Cottontail's got to beat a 3, which he does. Bedbug pressing his advantage here. 1, turnbuckle splash 3, choice G. So he's going to go to the top when he shouldn't. So 5, death jump A. Opponent climbs to the top, but you recover and throw him off the turnbuckle and into the ring. He goes down hard. Pete Cottontail is on level 3 offense here. 5, Basket Pile Driver 3, add 1. So we're going to add 1 to his pin there. 4, down 3, and Bedbug's going to bail to the outside. And he's just going to take a breather and get back in. Pete Cottontail is on level 3 offense here. 1, Bite to the Forehead 2. 3, Hurt 2. Um, 2, Double Foot Stomp 2. 2, Bedbug 2. Uh, one slap one. Four Pete Cottontail two. Four repeated headbutts two choice C. So he's going to go for the agility version, which is a level three move, and that is going to work on a nine or less here. So a nine or less in this move is going to hit, and he misses it. So Bedbug is on level two offense here. Three Bedbug's bite two. Two hurt two. Five, um, mattress jump three, five, down three, and Pete's going to bail to the outside. Okay, so five on out of the ring B, so Bedbug grabs a chair and nails Pete Cottontail with it. We're going to see if he gets DQ'd, and he does, so the streak of DQs continue. Your winner and moving on to the semifinals is Pete Cottontail. It's been a low rolling night so far. So we'll see if we can actually get through the first round with um, out of DQ. So it's going to be Romero and Murky Waters as our final first round matchup. Okay, so let's roll for initiative here. And it is going to be Romero starting us off. Three, Nibble, two. Four, Hurt, two. Three... Snatch by arm. What's that? Sorry. Yeah, snatch by arm. Two. Uh, three, murky waters. One. One. Uh, blow bubbles at opponent. One. One, Romero. One. Four, grab two, power. So he's a minus two. Murky waters is a plus two, so the move works. Three, murky waters. One. Um, three, Flurry of Flipper Kicks, two. One, Hurt, two. Oh, no, 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 that's wrong. 
Piranobite 2 power, so uh, would be the right one. So Romero is going to reverse that with a better power rating. Two. Um, back rake two. One, hurt two. Three, snatch by arm two. Five, down three. Two, death jump. So Romero going to the top rope. And nine on death jump A. Put a blast you with a flying clothesline. Romero's on level three offense. Uh, one, uh, grapple to the ground, two, choice C. So he's going to go for the weaker power version of this, which is a level two move, and it's going to work on a, a nine or less here. And that's going to work. So Murky Waters is going to roll on level two defense. Five, down three. Two, death jump. Romero is going to go back to the top, and he hits that flying clothesline again. Romero on level three offense. Death jump, he's going to do it again. Hits that flying clothesline again. Um, four, pile on attack three. One, hurt two. Six, bite three, add one. So we're going to add one there. He's going to roll on level three defense. Five, hurt two. Uh, five, shamble and dive to choice A. So he's going to send Murky into the ropes here. So eight on ropes B. Come off the ropes and the opponent puts you down hard with a running back elbow. Romero on level two offense. One, uh, scratch two power. So that works. Six, dazed one. Uh, five, into the turnbuckle. So he's going to send Murky into the turnbuckle. Uh, Two on B. The opponent tries a running clothesline, but you move and he crashes into the turnbuckle. You cover him for the pin. So Romero is just going to take a fatigue here because he's got a zero. Murky Waters on level uh, three offense here. One uh, hesitation drop kick to choice F. So he's going to go for the weaker agility version, which is going to work on an 11 or less here. Okay, so that works. Romero on level two defense. Four down three. Murky Waters is going for the kill here. Three out of the ring. So he's going to toss uh, Romero out of the ring. And Romero just kind of pummels him on the outside and tosses Murky Waters back in. Romero's on level three offense. So six undead curse. So let's see here. Okay, that's just if he wins. So this is going to be uh, Murky Waters has to beat a three here, which he does. Okay, Romero. One, uh, grapple to the ground, two, choice C. So he's going to go for the safer power version, which is going to work on a nine or less, which he hits. So Murky Waters is on level two defense. Five, down three. Uh, five, sink teeth into arm three. Add one. So we're going to add one there. Murky Waters on level two, three defense. One, hurt two. Two, back rake two. Uh, five, down three, four, pile on attack three, two, pin. He's got to beat a five here. Oh, and he doesn't get it, folks. It's not a DQ. Your winner by pinfall is uh, Romero, the guy who never wins by anything or never does anything but get DQ'd, wins cleanly. So that's a shock. Okay, so we're going to go to our first semi-final bout here and it is going to be Lycan Moon against Vladimir Plasma so we are going to roll for initiative here and that's a tie and Vladimir is going to start us off okay five holy water splash two agility Lycan's a plus one. Vladimir's a minus one. So that move works. Lycan on level two, defense five, hurt two. One flying clothesline, two agility. That works. Five, hurt two. Six, stake through the heart, three. Two, down three. And Lycan's going to bail to the outside here. And he's just going to take a breather and crawl back into the ring. Vladimir Plasma on level three offense five. Vampire's bite 
three, add one. So we're going to add one there. Like in Moon on level three defense. Three, hurt two. So the thing with Vladimir Plasma is he needs he needs to have put three pin tokens on Lycan Moon before his um, finisher actually works. So he's at a disadvantage until he gets there. Five, Wings of the Bat, three. Three, hurt two. Four, double leg takedown, two, choice B. Uh, let's see what our choices are here. So he's going to do the standing drop kick, which is going to work on an eight or less, which he hits. That's actually the genius of his team with Romero. Is Romero has a lot of add ones that can get him into position to do it. So like in Moon on level two defense, two like in Moon two, two um, vicious claw swipe two, two hurt two, three end of the ropes. Um, he's gonna go down to level one. He's gonna think better of it. Three. Double leg sweep to agility. So Vladimir Plasma is going to reverse that. Three into the ropes. So he's sending Lycan like Moon into the ropes. Five on ropes C. So Lycan like Moon does a leapfrog. And we're going to roll that again. And this is going to be whoever has the better power rating, which they have the same. So Vladimir Plasma wins the tie. So Vladimir Plasma hits a. Uh, Shoulder tackle that takes Lycan Moon down. Vladimir Plasma on level 2 offense. 5, Wings of the Bat 3. 6, Hurt 2. 1, Flying Clothesline 2, Agility. So that move works. 5, Hurt 2. 2, Body Slam 2. 4, Hurt 2. 2, Body Slam 2. Uh, 1, Hurt 2. 6, Stake Through the Heart 3. Two down, three, and Lycan Moon's going to bail to the outside here. And Vladimir Plasma's going to grab a chair and nail Lycan Moon with it. We're going to see if Vladimir gets DQ'd. Does not. Tosses uh, Lycan Moon back into the ring. Vladimir Plasma on level three offense here. Four. Uh, crucifix power bomb. So we're going to three add one. So we're going to add that. Lycan Moon on level three defense. Two down, three, and he's going to bail to the outside. And they start brawling on the outside. We're going to see if this is a double DQ or not. Like in Moon's DQ'd. And Vladimir Plasma is not. So you're winner of the match. And going on to the semi, uh, going on to the final, I should say, is Vladimir Plasma by DQ. I should have made this null holds barred. Uh, things to learn for next year. Okay, so it's our final semifinal. And it's going to be Pete Cottontail against Romero. Okay, so we're going to roll for initiative here. So Pete Cottontail is going to start us off. Uh, four, wrist lock and punch two power. So Romero is a minus two and Pete's a plus one. So Romero is going to reverse that. Uh, five, shamble and dive two, choice A. So he's going to send Pete into the ropes. Three on um, ropes B. Opponent gets into position for a back body drop, but you grab him and hit him with an awesome pile driver. Pete Cottontail rolls on level three offense. Four, bunny hop three. Two, hurt two. Um, four, repeated headbutts two, choice C. So he's going to go for the agility version, which is the level three move. That's going to work on an 11 or less. So he hits that. Romero on level three defense here. Five, hurt two. Um, two, double foot stomp, two, one, hurt, two, six, lucky human's foot, three, four, down, three, five, basket pile driver, three, add one, so we're going to add one there, and Romero's going to roll on level three defense, five, hurt, two, six, lucky human's foot, three, one, down, three, four, bunny hop, three, one down three. Two death jumps. So he's going to go to the top rope here. Six on death jump C. So Pete Cottontail hits a flying clothesline on Romero. Four down three. One bite to the forehead two. Six Romero one. One snarl and nip one. One hurt two. Uh, three scratched by arm two. Five down three. 
four, pile on attack three, five, down three, and Pete's going to bail to the outside here, and he just takes a breather, and Romero is on level three. Offense three out of the ring. Okay, so same thing. Pete's going to take a breather. Romero's on level three offense. Death jump. Romero goes to the top rope here. And he hits a flying clothesline on Pete Cottontail. Romero is on level three offense here. Five. Sink teeth into arm three. Add one. So we're going to add one. Pete's going to roll on defense here. Three. Hurt two. Uh, two. Back rake two. Six. Hurt two. Four. Graze with nails two. One. Dazed one. Five. Into the turnbuckle. So he's going to send Pete into the turnbuckle. And he crashes and burns. As Pete moves and Pete rolls him up and he's just going to take a fatigue here because his pins have won. So Pete on level three offense. Five, basket pile driver three, add one. So we're going to add one there. One down three. One, bite to the forehead two. Five, Romero two. Two, back rake two. Five, down three. Four, pile on attack three. Five, down three. And... Pete's going to bail to the outside here. And Pete's actually going to pull Romero out of the ring and toss him into the guardrail and into the ring post. We're going to see if Pete gets DQ'd here, which he doesn't. Pete tosses Romero back into the ring, and he's on level three offense. Three out of the ring, so he's going to toss Romero out. And Romero just mauls Pete as he gets out of the ring. And back into the ring, Romero's in control to death jump. So Romero goes to the top rope here. Four on death jump A. Opponent comes off the top with an awesome cross body block, but you counter with a specialty move. We're just going to say Pete rolls through. And um, so we're going to roll here. So Romero's got to be the three, which he does. Pete on level three offense. One bite to the forehead, two. Four down three. Four bunny hop three. One down three. Four bunny hop three. Four down three. Six bad egg. Okay, so Romero's got to be to six here, which he does. Handily, I might add. Pete Cottontail on level three offense. Two death jump. He's going to the top rope here. Five on death jump C. So Pete hits a flying clothesline, and Pete's going to roll on level three offense, and he's going to the top rope again. Same thing, hits that flying clothesline. Six bad egg. Okay, this time Romero's got to beat a seven. And he just barely beats it. Okay, Pete Cottontail trying to finish him off. And he's going to the top rope again. Hits that flying clothesline. Back to the top rope for Pete. Okay, what's a nine look like here? Nine on death jump C. So they're going to battle over a superplex. And Pete hits it with because he has a better agility rating. So Pete's on level three offense. Four bunny hop three. Three pin. Okay, Romero's got to beat a six here. And he does. Romero's just taking a beating here. Uh, Pete going to the top rope again. So they hit that superplex again thanks to his superior agility. Going back to the top again. Oh no, three on death jump C. Put it climbs to the top. You recover and throw him off the turnbuckle and into the ring. He goes down hard. Romero is on level three offense here. Four, pile on attack three. Two, hurt two. One, scratch two, power. Three, Pete Cottontail one. One, spit carrot in eyes one. Four, Romero two. Five, shamble and dive two, choice A. So he's going to send Pete into the ropes. And... He has a better power rating, so he hits a shoulder tackle. Romero is on level two offense. Six, bite three, add one. So Pete takes a fatigue there. Three, hurt two. Five, shamble and dive two, choice A. So he's going to send Pete into the ropes and hits that shoulder tackle again. Romero on level two offense. Going to send Pete into the ropes again. And he hits a back elbow this time. So Romero on level two offense. Six, bite three, add one. So Pete takes a fatigue there. 
Five down three, and Pete's going to bail to the outside here. And they start brawling on the outside. We're going to see if this is a double DQ. Pete's not DQ'd. And Romero is DQ'd. So your winner of the match by DQ is Pete Cottontail. Okay. So because of all the DQs here, because I'm being really unlucky tonight, we're doing the final as a... Um, final is going to be a no DQ match. So our final match is... Vladimir Plasma and Pete Cottontail. So this is the final, and the winner will take home the Monster Cup. It's been a night of a lot of DQs so far. Okay, so Vladimir Plasma is going to start us off here. Three, uh, Blatant Choke, two. Six, Pete... Oh, no, Hurt, two, sorry. Read the wrong one. Six, Stake Through the Heart, three. Five, down three, and Pete's going to bail to the outside here. And they brawl on the outside. No DQs, thank God. And um, we're going to roll. And if it's an even, Pete wins the brawl. So Pete wins the brawl, tosses Vladimir Plasma back in the ring. Pete on level three offense here. One, bite to the forehead, two. Six, down three. Five, basket pile driver, three, add one. So Vladimir takes a token there. Five, down three. Five, basket pile driver three, add one. So we're going to add one there. Six, hurt two. Uh, five, metallic running lariat three. Two, pin. Okay, Vladimir Plasma's got to beat a six. And he does. Starting to take some uh, damage here, though, as Pete is pressing his attack. Four, bunny hop three. Four, hurt two. One, uh, side headlock, two power. So Vladimir's a minus two, Pete's a plus one. So Vladimir reverses that. Three, into the ropes. So he's going to send Pete into the ropes. And he's going to hit a shoulder tackle due to his superior power. And Pete goes down hard. So Vladimir on level two offense, going to send Pete into the ropes again. And hits a back elbow this time. So Vladimir on level two offense. Four, double leg takedown to choice B. So he's going to send Pete into the turnbuckle. And Pete's going to reverse that and send Vladimir into the corner. We're going to roll that again. Going to roll it again. And going to roll it again. Okay. Okay, five. So five on turnbuckle B. Uh, you lift a knee to the oncoming opponent's head. He is hurt. Vladimir Plasma is on level two offense. Uh, one flying clothesline, two agility. So Pete's going to reverse that because he has a better agility. Four repeated headbutts, two choice C. So he's going to go for the superior agility version, which is going to work on a six or less here, which he hits. Vladimir Plasma on level three. Defense, one hurt, two. Uh, three break egg on opponent's face, two. Five hurt, two. Five metallic running lariat, three. Four, hurt two. Six, lucky human's foot three. Four, hurt two. Uh, three, break egg into opponent's face two. Two, hurt two. One, side headlock two, power. So Vladimir Plasma reverses that. Four, double leg takedown two, choice B. So he's going to send Pete into the corner. So four on turnbuckle B. Bounce forward off the turnbuckle and catch the charging opponent with a skull-splitting running lariat. He goes down hard. So Pete is, I mean, Vladimir is going to roll on level three defense here. One hurt two. Five, metallic running lariat three. Six hurt two. One side headlock two power, which Vladimir Plasma is going to counter that. One flying clothesline two agility. Pete's going to reverse that. Five, metallic running lariat three. Six hurt two. Five, metallic running lariat three. Six hurt two. Uh, one, side headlock two power, which Vladimir is going to reverse. Three, into the ropes. So he sends Pete into the ropes. So four on ropes B. Opponent gets into position for a back body drop. You grab him and hit him with an awesome pile driver. Pete's on level three offense here. Four, bunny hop three. 
Uh, six, hurt two. Five, metallic running lariat three. Four, hurt two. Three, break egg on opponent's face two. Six, uh, down three. Four, bunny hop three. One, hurt two. Four repeated headbutts to choice C, so he's going to go for the better agility version and hits it. Vladimir on level three defense. Two pin, he's got to be to seven here. And he does. Vladimir Plasma has taken some damage, though. Six bad egg. Okay, so Vladimir Plasma has to be to ten. And he does. Wow, that was a nice roll there. So Pete Cottontail on level three offense. Three out of the ring, so he's going to toss Vladimir Plasma out of the ring. And Vladimir Plasma pulls him out of the ring and tosses him into the guardrail. And there's no DQ there. Back in the ring, Vladimir Plasma on level three offense. One uh, coffin sleeper hold three, choice G. So he's going to go down a level. Six staked through the heart three. One down three. Six bloodlust. Let me see here. Okay. So he needs three tokens for that to work. I just need to make sure it wasn't an add one. So Vladimir Plasma has to re-roll on level three. Offense here. So five, Vampire's Bite, three, add one. So we're going to add one there. Pete, one, down three. Six, doesn't work. So he's got to roll again. Four, um, Crucifix Powerbomb, three, add one. So we're going to add one to Pete's pin there. Two, hurt two. Six, stake through the heart, three. One, down three. Um, four. Crucifix, powerbomb, three, add one. Okay. Now the bloodlust is on the table. One, down three. Four, crucifix, powerbomb, three, add one. So he's going to add one there. Uh, one, down three. Four, crucifix, powerbomb, three, add one. We're going to add one again. Three, hurt two. Five, wings of the bat, three. Five, down three, and Pete's going to bail to the outside here, and he's just going to take a breather. Gets back into the ring. Vladimir on level three offense. Uh, one, coffin sleeper hold, three, choice G. So he's going to go down a level. Oh, no, he can't do that. Sorry. I think I screwed that up earlier. My bad. So choice G. So he's going to do a Tombstone Pile Driver 3, which works on a 9 or less. So let's see here. Doesn't hit it. Okay, so Pete reverses that. So Pete is on level 2 offense after reversing a Tombstone. Four repeated headbutts, two choice C. So he's going to go for the agility version, which is going to work on a 6 or less. Hits it. So Vladimir Plasma on level 3 defense. One hurt, two. Four, same thing, going to go for the, the agility, hits it. Vladimir Plasma, six, hurt two. Three, break egg in opponent's face two. Five, hurt two. Four, repeated headbutts two, choice C. So he's going for the agility version. And he hits it. He's having good luck with that. Because that's kind of high risk at a six or less. Four, hurt two. Four repeated headbutts, same thing. Oh, it doesn't hit that time, so Vladimir Plasma reverses that one, and he's on level two offense. Six, stake through the heart, three. Three, hurt two. Six, stake through the heart, three. Five, down three, and Pete bails to the outside here. They kind of brawl on the outside, but they have the same ring rating, so Vladimir Plasma retains control, tosses Pete back into the ring, and Vladimir on level three offense. Uh, one coffin sleeper hold. So he's going to go for that tombstone, which is going to work on a nine or less. Hits that. Pete's going to roll on level three defense. Five down three, and he's going to bail out of the ring. So they brawl a bit on the outside. Vladimir wins because he has a better... Well, they have the same uh, ring rating. So back in the ring, Vladimir Plasma. Two out of the ring, so he's going to toss Pete out. They brawl a bit. Vladimir takes... Can, uh, retains control, tosses Pete back into the ring. Six, bloodlust, and it's going to work this time. So Pete's got to beat 
a 10. And he doesn't get it. Your winner of the match and your Monster Cup champion is Vladimir Plasma. Well, thank you for joining me as always and have a happy Halloween and I will catch you next time.